So I hurry opened it and when I opened it I started crying. I made sure to like hurry call my mom and she's like, what happened? And I was like, I got accepted and she's like, oh my god. And she's like so happy and she's like doing like what all moms do and she started posting it and my dad started posting it. And I don't know, I just felt so happy and I felt so proud to like achieve this dream and to have like my biggest supporters by my side. 10,000 applicants from 150 countries. That is how many students 16-year-old Sanja Lindo was up against for a chance to participate in the Young Global Scholar program at Yale University, a spot she would later secure, despite the odds. This program offers sessions on various topics such as literature, science, politics, and law. Sandra, a third-form humanities major at Belize High School, decided to apply to the law program. Well, I currently got accepted to Yale Young Global Scholar, which is a summer program at Yale in New Haven, Connecticut. And there's four categories, but my the one that stood out to me the most is politics, law, and economics, as it's something that I want to do in the future. And I thought that like this would be a great experience because in my freshman and sophomore year, I did some dual credit courses, and I did like criminal justice, and that really solidified my dream and saying, like, yeah, I really want to become a lawyer. Sandra recently participated in the HACIA program, which is the Harvard Association for Cultivation of Inter-American Democracy. It is a debate conference that serves as an opportunity for youths to come together and create solutions to real-world problems. ASIA, I think, is like a really great program that we have here because it's with Harvard and it's the summit and there's like different committees based on what you like. So I know like PAHO is based on like medical, you had CELAC, which is like based on like issues that are happening and I knew they were doing like poverty for women, like rep reproduction care, but I chose court and I did court last year as well and it's just to like help learn the foundation of what it's like to be in a court and the stimulation of it. So you have like the judge, you have the plaintiff and the defense. And I think like that's a really great experience because we not only learn, but we also have fun as well. She said that although it was difficult at times, through the support of her mentors and peers, she was able to successfully complete the Hasia events, which she believes influenced her future success in the Young Global Scholars program. Countless days where we're like working on these papers, getting all the research, all the notes, and I feel like that's really going to help me with this program because it's going to keep me organized and I'm going to, I guess, have an understanding of like what the law is thanks to this program. And I was like, I really enjoyed it because like I had to do judge a day, I had to do defense, and I, it really gave me an opportunity to like, give my strong points and say like, yeah, I really believe that the state has the right. And like as a judge, I had to like listen to both sides, and it like really helped into like becoming like, hmm, which side do I want to take? And it was a hard decision overall. Sandra's teacher, Judy Carrillo, was not only a mentor at the Hasia program but also a great support to Sandra during her application process, encouraging her, as well as writing a recommendation letter. According to Carrillo, she had no qualms about writing recommendations for Sandra, since she was always a hardworking and dedicated student, who she believes will be a great ambassador for Belize. So last year, Sandra approached me and asked me if I can complete her recommendation form for this program. And I have always admired Sandra because despite the challenges she has gone through, she has always remained consistent and determined to engage in any activity that will contribute to the career she wants to pursue in the future. And I did so happily and with the hope that she would be accepted because I know it's a great opportunity for her to develop her leadership skills but also get more exposure into what it takes to be part of that career that she wants to pursue. Sandra's mother, Sawad Baro, recalled what it was like receiving that call from her daughter, informing her that she's been accepted to the program. Overjoy and proud would be an understatement to say. Um, I started crying immediately. I think Sandra did as well. And then we just cried on the phone for a bit. Um, the old saying that fishermen say fish stink. Um, I have nothing but pure joy to speak about how wonderful a child Sandra is. Her empathy and love for her community, her family, and especially her little brother always amazed me. Sandra would come and say, Mom, I have an idea, and I go, oh, here we go again. And it would be a cleanup program or 
She did a fundraising with her brother, um, sister and brother fundraising for Christmas to raise toys and food for the children's home, Liberty Children's Home. This is the third time she's done an event like that. She does clean up, she does everything on her son set. Sometimes I say, take a break. Barra said that her daughter has always had law influencing her life, as both parents and several family members are lawyers. She is a lover of the arts, she's a lover of Belize, and she comes from a long line of law-influenced people. She has grown up around lawyers, she's seen her dad go study, um, I've studied from here, long distance. She's been with um, Honorable well, Senior Counsel Dean Lindo, who has been a role model for her, and she always says the term touch your brother light and watch you feel because of him. So she'll watch and say, I think I want to do this and think is not, not in her vocab. She goes and straight on, head on. Sandra hopes that she can attend Yale as a student one day, but is open to keep trying for other schools as well. She said that Belizeans should apply for more programs like this because anyone can achieve it if they don't give up. Dreaming is not only about believing but achieving and I felt so proud of myself that I'm like one out of 10,000 out of like 150 countries and I feel like as a Belizean I'm very proud because I'm like not many of us have this opportunity and I'm happy to like put us on the map more and further our things but I feel like everyone has a chance like if they have this dream they should go for it and they should achieve what they want. Brittany Gordon for News 5.